Hey there traders, welcome back for episode number 30 from the stockbandit.tv. I'm sure glad that you're here. So as is usually the case on Sundays, we're going to take a look at the major averages as we face a brand new trading week and we're going to figure out what's going on out there. What are some key levels that we need to be aware of for the major averages because as they start to respond to those key levels, most individual stocks are going to take their cues from those same moves and that's where our focus needs to be to start the week what is a, the big picture looking like and then we can start taking uh, that and, and applying it to our individual trading plan for uh, exact names and directions to be trading so as we start off here I'm going to run through the uh, NASDAQ S&P and Dow we're going to start with the NASDAQ which on Friday made a new 52 week low. It was the, the last of the big three to do so as it undercut that 1295 level set back in November. We also saw some pretty good volume accompany that move as well. So now as we zoom in on the chart here though, we see that on Friday we were able to recover from the session lows and kind of finish back in the middle of the range, even though we did close under that 1295 as well. So zooming back out here, I want to point out uh, one other thing. This very harsh move, the sell-off that we saw last fall, that was really a, a move based on fear. Everyone was just afraid, and, uh, and, and, and whenever that's the case, you see extremely sharp, rapid declines, and uh, people are basically willing to sell at any price. This move right here that we're in right now is not quite as steep. It's a little bit more gradual. It's more of a move that's sparked by disgust. I think that's the primary emotion in this market right now. People are just kind of throwing up their hands and saying, I have no idea what's going on. This market is uncertain and I just don't know what to buy. I don't like it. And so when in doubt, they're selling. It's not a market where they're waking up every day panicked and just consumed by fear. And so instead, they're basically waiting to see if a bounce comes along. And when it doesn't, then they go to sell. And I think that's uh, kind of the mark of a, of a environment that's characterized by disgust. And so what we need to be on guard for is a possible bounce that's going to catch a lot of people off guard. And it may or may not happen this week. Uh, I'm certainly not here to predict anything. But I think once we got a break of that key support, especially in the, in the NASDAQ, the last of the big three to do so, I think that uh, there could be some people who've been waiting for that to occur and then may have the idea that they're going to go and sell and raise cash at this point now thinking that that may start a new leg lower and that's at the point which oftentimes they're going to get caught off guard and maybe a bounce kicks in so if we do see a bounce kick in in the nasdaq i think the next logical spot for it to take us to is this 1400 zone that was former support so if we do bounce that's where i'd be looking for for the s p 500 this index has been making new 52 week lows for more than a week now so uh, it definitely has been doing it longer than the nasdaq uh, I think a bounce here could carry back up to this uh, 740 area that's broken support. I think that's a level to watch if some upside comes along. And if is a big word for just two letters. Always remember that. And for the Dow, I think you could draw a, a pretty steep downtrend line right here along the last couple of weeks. And, and a move up above the 6800 area could spark a rally back up to the 7100 zone. That was recent support and then of course the 7400 area which was key support that's when this index broke a new 52 week low about two weeks ago so this one was the first among the big three to do it so stay on guard for a possible bounce but if it doesn't happen remember this trend is down and when in doubt you got to move to the short side and uh, I think if, if a bounce does come along, it absolutely deserves our respect. You don't try to short bounces right now. I think you wait and, uh, and you see if weakness persists. But if a bounce comes along, it may just be worth a trade on the long side. So keep those ETFs handy and uh, keep a list of a handful of setups that you like for trading on the long side. That's what I'm going to be doing and uh, hope it works out well for you. So 
Have a great night. Thanks again, as always, for joining me. I'll see you soon with more videos, but in the meantime, be sure and trade like a bandit. <laughs>